to my crazy life. It's Lori and it's a Buckeye day. This is the helmet <laughs> that I got at the Dollar Tree and here's my cat costume. It's Halloween. I got this at the Dollar Tree too. Aren't these fantastic? I should have got like 10 of them. I love it. And there's whiskers and a nose and the ears, but I'm wearing a mask because we're going to be socially distant and responsible. I'm going to my cousins to watch a game, but we're all wearing masks. Okay, buddy, get down. I've got this fantastically huge Dollar Tree haul for you, and I think it's all Christmas. I'm so excited. I love Christmas. And I mean, Halloween's over, so it's Christmas time, right? Sorry for the weird lighting. It's quarter of five and I need to get moving here in about 45 minutes. So let's get started. Okay, at the Dollar Tree, I found some of these containers. They're a little thicker, a little deeper than the ones from last year and these are great. I'm actually using this very specific one for my trip coming up. We're gonna put food and stuff in a cooler so I thought that's perfect. The ones from last year, I store cookies in my freezer. So even though I don't eat them, I do bake holiday cookies and I store them each different one in a container like this in my freezer. And then when it's time to um, make baskets, so I don't have to bake them all at one time, they, I pick cookies that freeze wonderful and then I just um, gift them. So these are really cute. I like the pattern on it. And I did see the ones with the truck, but I don't need any more. Sorry, buddy. I'm putting things that I'm keeping in a bag that I got for my birthday. <laughs> and thank you for all the birthday wishes. It was wonderful. Okay. Oh, this is from Walmart. Um, I got some snow. Now, I'm going to show you the difference because I couldn't find the Dollar Tree snow and then I ended up finding it. But this is nine ounces for $1.98. And it's, I want to flock some green and so I needed some fake snow. So I grabbed this at Walmart with $1.98. And then I'm making a DIY, and this is gonna be perfect for it. It's mostly gonna be Dollar Tree, but I got this for $1.98 as well. I needed it to hang our sign from, but look at this. Honestly, these are like Buckeye colors. So if I took off this and put, just left the red bow, put a block O or something Ohio State in the middle, this could hang all the time. Hi, buddy. But I grabbed that and it was $1.98 as well. That's all I bought. I did um, do a little videoing in there. Do you want to say hi to the peoples? Do you want to say hi to our friends? Here you go. This is Wellington. He does not. He just wants to be outside. Say hi. Okay. I don't know where Alex is. He was sleeping in my bed. Um, on the same vein as those bells, I grabbed these in silver. I'm going to spray paint them um for another DIY but I like the size of those and honestly when I pull up my Christmas coat tote tomorrow in my craft room I know I have some of those big dollar balls bells I may use those but for now I grabbed a pack of those hi sweetheart and then I wanted this ring so I don't necessarily want this door hanger so I'm going to take it apart but I wanted the plastic ring in the middle so I'm gonna deconstruct this and put it back together with that for a DIY okay here's the can that I got at the Dollar Tree and it's two ounces so for one dollar I got two ounces and for two dollar I got nine so your better deal is really to get at Walmart but if you just need a little bit and we'll see how it works. I'll try it. I have a couple things I want to flock, so we'll see. So I have two cans now, which is fine. Hi, sweetheart. Um, which I think is so neat that they have this. And I didn't have to show ID to buy it. Then there's that. And it contains acetone. It's under pressure. Extremely flammable. Be careful. Um, I just got some mailers. I made those, if you saw my vlog last week, the Grinch masks. I need to mail my cousins to them. Hi, sweetheart. I know, baby. Um, I grabbed one more of these word searches. I think these are fabulous. And for a dollar, 
I'm putting a gift together for a couple people with pajamas, slipper socks, a mask. So I've already purchased the pajamas, the socks, the mask, and I thought this would be fun and maybe a fun pen in the gift. Because let's be honest, we're COVID. Everybody's at home. I don't like this lighting and I'm sorry. But I think this is fantastic. I got a Sudoku too, but I think only Sarah does that. But I feel like most people do word searches. So I grabbed this one and I'll show you I grabbed a different one as well. And then I got these glue dots. Now they have permanent and removable. This is the removable glue dots. These are great for holiday decorating. If you have like, sometimes I'll put a candle like those, um, solar power candles in my windowsill and they tip over. So I put a glue dot, stick it in my window and the glue dot holds it, but these are removable so I can just rub it and it comes off. So they're fun to like, if you're standing things up that maybe might tip or your cat might knock over. These are great. Um, I like the removable ones and one package, you get 36 of them. So I thought that was a great deal. Um, I use them for other things too, but around the holidays, they're great. Hi buddy, what's up? What you want he's needing attention i think he's hungry today but i already fed them i will feed them dinner here in a minute but so i'm putting all my diy stuff together now, this is in no order guys um i made brookies today to take to the football game so typically if anybody i've had this asked before what is a brookie a brookie is a brownie on the bottom and a frozen cookie on the top so i go to gfs it's a restaurant store and they have the big it's about that big frozen cookie dough you can make your own cookie dough and freeze it it's fine so i put like a scoop of brownie mix and then a frozen cookie and i bake them together you can do it in a pan but i'm telling you it turns out better um my phone just rang. Am I back? That was weird. My phone rang. Um, you can put these in a pan and bake them, but I don't think it bakes up as well as it does in a cupcake liner. And then I, and so they puff up and then they sink in the middle. They're delicious. I mean, I've had one before. I don't eat them now, but my friends and family love them. But a box makes 24, and I'm only taking 12 tonight, so it's better to buy just a small little package, and this makes exactly 12 brookies. So I grabbed two of these because whenever I go places and they ask for brookies, I like to just have, depends how many we need. Now in my family, we have a new dog. Her name is Storm. It's my nephew's dog, so I've been putting together a little basket. She's a puppy, and these are just some dental chews. These are Purina, made in USA. Um, no gross ingredients, and they're not rawhide. So I grabbed these for her. I'm putting together a little bucket. Excuse me, sir. For her. For that, and I think around here I have some other doggy stuff. Um, I grabbed these. You grab them when you see them. They're fantastic for putting in cookie trays, putting them in little gift baskets, and I love them. The, the little tiny candy canes. And honestly, it's not too, well, I'm not eating them because there's 15 carbohydrates, but um, you can have them. But you get 25 mini candy canes for a dollar. And I feel like at my stores, these little ones go fast. So I grabbed a box because that'll be plenty. I grabbed a, one pack of these because I know I have another pack and I want to cut them down. So I got the two for a dollar one and I'm going to put them, I saw this on Pinterest, I think, or... Instagram, not sure, but you put them in here. So we're going to do a DIY together. So you need the globe. You need some of these or something to put in the middle. I think I'm going to do this in one and we'll see. So I grabbed them because if you know the Dollar Tree, you really have to grab stuff when you see it. And then I found one of these lanterns. I might, I'm looking for another one that has the more rustic farmhouse look to me. Um, and they do come with a tea light. I'm assuming I'm going to be able to pop this out maybe to paint it. We'll see. Um, but it does light up. And I'm do I might even just leave it wood. But I'm doing a little vignette in my dining room that's like Nordic. And this will go perfect. So I grabbed one. If I don't find a second one, not a big deal. One will be perfect for that. 
and I love them. And they had some that had like mandalas on the front. And I can tell you, it does light up. And it's honestly a nice warm light. So I think that'll look pretty. I also will show you, I ordered a print off of Etsy and had it printed up today um, to put in a frame that I got a long time ago at a thrift store. That's gonna stay up, this little scene that I wanna put up in my, <laughs> hi buddy. This scene that I wanna put up in my dining room, I'm gonna leave it up all winter. It's not a Christmas scene, it's more winter. So I wanna do that, and that needs to go in the kitchen. Guys, I've gone a little nuts, buddy. What you doing back there? He's crazy. Oh, I was so excited. I found canned air. I feel like it may have been there before, but I had no need for it. But now I have a need for it. Hi, sweetheart. Um, and I went on to Amazon and a can it bigger than this for like eight or nine dollars. No, I just need to clean out my uh, sewing machine. This is good for your keyboards and everything, but it also gets the lint out of your sewing machine. If you are a sewer, um, I'm working on a quilt and this helps because my bobbin thread was getting stuck. So I was getting ready to go to the uh, office supply store to get a can, but I saw those and I'm like, well, perfect. Perfection. Uh, I found, I'm sorry if I'm talking fast today. I feel like I've been like, woo, all day long. I got, uh, isn't this adorable? Cookies for Santa plate. This is glass. It is from the Royal Norfolk, which is the Dollar Tree brand. Um, I picked this up. My neighbor has custody of her three granddaughters. And at Christmas, I'm going to bake some cookies and put them on this tray with some of the candy canes and take them over for the kids. Or I'm going to put cookie dough with frosting a plate and let them make their own I'm not sure yet it's October we'll figure it out but I thought when I you know these go fast my store had exactly two plates left this one and a red one so I grabbed it for the girls they're young like preschool maybe kindergarten and first grade so they're little they'll appreciate that and I will drop them off you know maybe the week before Christmas so they have some cookies for Santa because you know that's what you need, right? I grabbed three of these. I finally found them. I'm going to tell you, this is a fantastic quality for a dollar. It is a um, placemat. In my bedroom, my comforter for Christmas month, <laughs> December, is Buffalo Check. So I think this, these two are going to look fabulous on my bed, on my nightstand, on my two end tables. I can only find three, which is fine. So I have two for my end tables and then on this one I might cricket something like Merry Christmas or whatever and then put, make it a pillow and just back it with some black and stuff it and make a pillow out of it for my bed I don't know but for a dollar they're pretty neat I know you can take them apart like unstitch them and stuff them and maybe I'll do that I don't know we'll see maybe I'll do nothing I don't know <laughs> I saw them and they're really nice quality if you run across them for a dollar. It feels like a fake linen. Opposed to those other ones that are more like a tapestry, these are definitely thinner, but they will certainly go in my bedroom. And one may just end up on my dresser underneath a uh, tray that I have with candles on it. So I don't know, but for one dollar each, you're not gonna you're not gonna find something somewhere else for a dollar, I can tell you. I'm grabbing more bags. All right. Oh, I forgot about this. I actually bought it to drink. <laughs> it's a Powerade Berry Cherry. Just like a flavored water. I like them. I enjoy those. I did find exciting. Exciting is the Gnome Coffee Cup. And like I've said before, these are terrible for keeping your coffee hot, but I don't care. They're cute. And I love them like on a Saturday morning when I'm out running errands and stuff to throw my coffee in it and I just feel festive. And then honestly, usually by the end of Christmas, they're ready to be thrown away and then I just get new ones next year. Um, it might be wasteful. Maybe I should donate them. Uh, no, I'm going to donate them. 
um, just because I don't have storage room and maybe I'll like something different next year. But these are the gnomes and they're adorable. And I like them. Ooh, I've got little threads all over me. And then I found Christmas cheer. These are rocks glasses if you don't know what that is. You put ice in them. Ooh, I think my stickers are coming off. You put ice in it and then it would put like a whiskey. If you drink whiskey, you could put a mixed drink in it. But you could also put a candle in here, like put melt a candle or over in the candle section, I feel like they have small pillars that would fit in there. But I'm gonna use it for an adult beverage because I do that on occasion and it is very festive. And I've never seen this size glass there. They always have the wine, which are fine, but this has a nice heavy bottom and I like it. I know, you could also put candy canes in it or flour, whatever, you can do you. You can do whatever you want. I'm going to tell you also that this is all sitting on my living room floor until I get back from tonight. Just as a heads up. Just saying. Okay, on this trip I found some of these Nature's Choice. And this is sweet potato and duck sticks again for my nephew's dog. So I got a bunch of treats for her and then I at Marshall's picked up a toy and another bag of treats but this toy is a rubber ball that she can chew on but you put treats in it it's like a kong but smaller because she's a puppy so i grabbed these i don't my uh luna likes these and again there's nothing there's no byproduct um there is glucosamine and chondroitin in them so that's pretty interesting to promote um joint health i didn't know that nice and for one dollar, um, provide one treat per 15 pounds a day. So this would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, nine days worth. I know um, Luna, Sarah's dog, has a congenitive knee issue. She's a Chihuahua breed, and she's her knee pops out, and she gives her this um, glucosamine and chondroitin every day in a milk bone so that's pretty awesome that it's in that tree to have to tell her in case i don't know she needs it oh here's the other word search book i got and this is for a uh, sister-in-law that i also got her pajamas and stuff and this one is chicken soup for the soul for uh, word find regularly 3.95 it was a dollar but it's um inspirational and i know she'll appreciate that so I grabbed that for her. And I love that I can find these little doodahs at the Dollar Tree to, to make a gift more personable, more special for somebody. And we all love to do that, so I know she'll enjoy it. Um, I did get an elf hat because, um, duh, it's Christmas. And I want to make, when I wear, I'm going to wear it when I do videos, DIYs. Not the one that's coming out tomorrow because I already recorded that one. Uh, by the way, tomorrow we have an advent calendar for teenagers, specifically the one I made is for a teenage boy. So check it out if you uh, have any teens in your life. This is a good idea for one that I thought of. So I thought this was fun, just an elf hat. You know. You know. Ooh, what else do we have? We have more. I picked up one more of these. This is the garland. So... I really love the um, garland ties they sell that are like a foot long and they come in a 12 pack. I can't find them at any of my stores. So I grabbed this garland to use on fluffing up the one green tree I could find. So apparently there's a shortage this year. There's tons of white trees in those holographic, but I only found one green tree. So I'm going to use this and cut it to fluff up that tree, which is fine. Same concept, same product really. Um, you know, I've been a little obsessed with these little games and I found skee-ball. What? I need to go through my room and collect all the games together and we may have to have like arcade night. I don't know, but it's skee-ball. How fun is that? Cute. I'm sure your stores all have that too. I picked up a pack of cards and it's a 20 pack, which is nice, but not for necessarily to mail out, but look at the back. Look at the cards. It has the trailer. I know this is blurry. I'm sorry. It's got the red truck, a gingerbread house, and the Santa. And the um, penguin. So I thought 
I definitely could take the red truck and do a craft with that and maybe the trailer. So, and for a dollar, I mail out a lot of Christmas cards, although I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do the exchange this year. Last year, I spent well over $100 on stamps. So we'll see. But I want to. Just expensive. And then um, I have a DIY coming up. So I just grabbed three of these this, to put in the ornaments. I like this snow over the what feels like the filler to a beanbag chair. I don't like that snow. I like the buffalo snow. It's, a, it's got a little sparkle to it. They're calling it faux snow. Some stores call it buffalo snow. So I grabbed three bags. I have one. So I'll have four bags to fill the ornaments. And then I grabbed two of these fillers. Um, ornament fillers as well. Because I think I might mix some of these together and see how that works in an ornament. I don't know. I just think it's pretty. Also, to torture my cousin, um, when I mail her masks, I'm going to put some of this in the um, envelope. <laughs> so when she pulls them out, glitter is going to fly all over her house. Sorry, Dana, if you're watching. Love you. This is mean it. But how fun is that? <laughs> all right. So I have that. Yeah, so these I just grabbed them. I really enjoy the size of this glitter and you it's a really good deal because honestly they sell a jar of it this size at the do dollar spot at target for a dollar so i'm getting three and you can glue this down you can put it in um friend mail you can put these in shaker cards all kinds of things i love it i just think it's fun you know and the last things that i found this morning at my store um these bows hold on let me find them first i got the little ones in the buffalo check so these are going to go on one of these projects i'm making but look at them aren't they adorable i i can make a bow i love these bows and i love that they're structured and they're going to hold and they're not going to smush so i grabbed these which i think are new this year but i know this is absolutely new to my stores this year <gasps> it looks like the santa I love it. So I grabbed two of the little ones and then I also grabbed one each of the big one. I got this one and this one. I love this. So I have a wreath that goes outside and the, the bow I like to replace every year. I always get like a Dollar Tree bow, but I'm going to flock it this year and put this bow on it. And then I just hang it over my outside light. But these bows are great. They do get a little faded by the end of of the end of Christmas, but they're a dollar, so I don't really care. And they are also um, plastic, so they're weather. If it snows or rains or something, it's not gonna mess with it. But isn't that fantastic? I love it. And then I grabbed a buffalo check one because really no other reason I don't know what I'm gonna do with the big one but I do love these little ones for decorating things or making wreaths or putting them on packages or I mean there's a hundred million things you can do now the last thing I got guys I'm done my neighbor is very loud today I'm dying here we've all seen the larger version of these bolt these containers they're tiny OMG, guys, we need to open this up. This one has the, um, maybe we're going to open it up. The coffee cup. Okay, that hurt my teeth. But it worked. The coffee cup and the, uh, or the hot chocolate and the gingerbread man. You get two. I mean, they're not airtight or anything. OMG, guys, if you had a hot, a hot chocolate bar. You could put all your little mini marshmallows and things in here. And honestly, if you had company over, you could put the lid down, set it on top, and put all your toppings. Or if you had like a cookie decorating party. Or you could put some cookies in here, little cookies, in a bag and seal the bag and then put it in here. Because this lid is not airtight. But isn't that adorable? So you get two for a dollar of the little ones. 
And they had, I think, blue with snowflakes. They had this one with the hot chocolate and the gingerbread. They had the red truck with the tree in the back, which I grabbed. And it's not a huge red truck. Oh, you know what else you could do? If you had a cookie decorating party, you could fill these up with frosting for each child. And like white frosting in front of each child. And then have out all the toppings and they could paint their or decorate their own cookies like how fun would that be and then it's something that if they get gross and messy no but they can eat their own <laughs> you know what i mean so that my friends i think is everything i picked up this week at my dollar trees multiple dollar trees i have three that i frequent regularly and I think I went to a fourth one for some of this stuff. So don't get disheartened if your store doesn't get everything. And know that sometimes you can go online and order. And like some items you can order four, a minimum of four. Some items like the gnomes, you had to order 24. Which is why I didn't want to order because I don't need 24. But you can order some of these things like I think these you could get four of, like four mugs. I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me on that, but check the website. And I hope you all have a great one and enjoy this Dollar Tree haul. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notification. All right, guys, have a good one, and go Bucks! Woohoo!